Good morning everybody, my name is Jody. My husband David John and I have a small farm in the panhandle of North Idaho. These are our stories and adventures. And today I did some cleaning and rearranging. The roosters have gone off to camp and the White House where they were has been cleaned up and my laying hens are gonna be in there for a while because the Russian Orlovs don't use the chicken coop at all. They stay out on the front stoop of the coop. So gotta get that cleaned up and I'll show you where, where I'm at on that. But I did get the pond dra drained down this morning. Show you that first. So got the pond all cleaned out. It's been used this morning already by the birds. But over here in the White House, like I said, I've got my laying hens. I moved that nest box from the chicken coop out here for them. Got it all cleaned out and ready for them. And in the process of doing this, I have two very upset turkeys. Shadow was trying to hatch her eggs, but it's well past the point when they should have hatched. So took those away from her and kicked them out of the chicken coop. But they're pacing, trying to figure out how to get in. And that pile of shavings was in the chicken coop itself. Kind of got it sprayed down. We'll go inside and look. So I had to, I wanted to spray down the back wall and the roost so I can go through this afternoon and get it painted so it's back to being white. So it's nice and clean for the Orloffs, but, and of course, one of the nice things about having the dirt floor is you can hose it down and then it does dry. But I got in here all cleaned up. Still have the brooder to do, but went through got the shavings all cleaned out and the back wall sprayed off like I said just have to wait till this dries this afternoon I'll be able to come in paint it get a fresh coat of paint so it's nice and neat and then tomorrow morning about 4 30 5 o'clock when I get up I'll bring the collect the Orloffs and bring them in. But those poor turkeys don't know what to do. So out here in the garden, uh, I googled it, the, when are my onions going to be ready? Because first year really growing onions. And they said once the stalks fall over, you wait two, three weeks, which it's been plenty of that and then you dig them up and put them somewhere to dry and cure. So I'm gonna go through and get the ones that are laying over clean or picked and into the seed shed so I can at least get this walkway mowed. So let's see how many I get. So like, these two here, I'm not going to pick yet, but this one in the middle should be ready to go. Not uber big, but it'll work.
Well, that's the last one that's leaning over, so let's go up to the seed shed and show you how I was told to cure them and show you what I got. So to be honest, I understand the culinary, culinary aspect of onions, but onions aren't my favorite. So the average size, they are on the small side, but just need a couple of them if you're cooking something. So I'm going to go through, lay them out on the plant tables so they can dry and cure because it's dry in here and I've got a fan for air movement so they should cure really good in here. So let's get these guys laid out. And the main thing you want is to make sure that there is air around them so they can dry out good. It's like some of these are really tiny. And a few of them are a little on the decent side. And then this is the elephant garlic that I picked the other day. And it's drying out good and curing really, really good. So the onion should do the same. And when it's time to do potatoes, this is where we're going to cure our potatoes. So before my battery dies, I'm going to get the rest of these put out, go charge my battery, and then I'll be back with you guys. Okay, now that the battery is charged, from what I was finding, you just want to lay them out. You want to leave the greens on and leave the roots on and let them completely dry. It takes about two to three weeks. The green stems will go brown and then you just trim them off about there and then trim the roots down dust off the big clumps of dirt and they'll be ready to go into storage uh, I could have gone through and braided them but don't really have the time to do it it would look cool but I don't think it would be really practical for us so well the battery was charging. I did some more work on the chicken coop, so let's go up and take a look at that. It's almost ready for the Orloffs tomorrow morning. So, gone through, got a layer of paint on everything, new shavings down. I will be adding a water dish in here. Typically, I wouldn't have one, but because they're going to be locked in here for 72 hours, they're going to need water. So, I'll grab the camera and do a quick spin around so you can kind of see how it looks. It does look so much better painted white. Uh, David John was saying about putting plastic on this wall so it will be easier to wash off. But I'm not sure which plastic he was talking about and he's taking a nap so there may be plastic the next time you see this. So I've gone through got that all painted so it's nice and neat that wall and I didn't need to fill the nest boxes but I had the shavings so I did nice fresh shavings and the nice white roofs and white wall and I did wind up painting this side of the, the gate because it kind of finishes it off and when I do the other third of the 
chicken coop, the brooder part, I'll get the other side of that painted up. So tomorrow morning, catching the Orloffs. So this is where I'm going to end today's video. I hope you have a good day and a good week. And if I am able to catch the Orloffs, I'll wear the GoPro. It might be too dark. I don't know if we'll be able to see anything. But if I do, I'll have that on the next video on Thursday so you can get an update of how they're doing in their mini home. And maybe the turkeys will stop being mad at me at some point, but that's life on a farm. So talk to you guys later. Bye. And on a funny side note, They're ready to be in the chicken coop. Or at least on the feed side. What do you think, princess? She's looking good. Even after her broken leg. It's all healed up.